In our everyday lives, chaos shows up in the form of piles of clothes gathering in the corner, or the dirty dishes, which haven't been cleaned in the sink. It's the entropy in our lives, the tendency for things to come undone. Hey guys, hola chicos. Esta semana, estoy de vuelta a mi taller. This week, I'm back in my studio where I've been looking at the idea of chaos and how as creatives, we can work with it rather than be controlled by it. But first, I've got a couple of chores to take care of. Let's get to work. Vamos a trabajar. Here in Mexico, the waste products are separated into organic, inorganic, and recyclables. And each one is dealt with separately. The family I live with is growing vegetables and herbs here in the backyard. And so I like to take my food waste and paper products and add them to the compost heap so as to help enrich the soil. El caos se refiere al estado primordial, el vacío antes del acto de creación. The term chaos goes back to Greek mythology, referring to the void which existed prior to the creation of the cosmos. The painting by late medieval Spanish artist Fernando Gallego shows chaos at the bottom of the composition as somehow inferior. I like to think of it more as something I'm a part of, a field of rich potential for creativity. Looking at my studio work table, I realize as creators, we find order and connection within the chaos. When you apply your creative skills to something, you bring an organizing principle to the raw materials with which you work. That is the magic you bring as a creator. La habilidad de establecer orden en tus obras. Ese es el acto de la magia. Cuando yo era un joven, tuve una atracción inconsciente al caos. In my younger days, I had an unconscious attraction to chaos. Something which was an expression of the instability I felt within myself. As I've learned how to practice better self-care, my life has become less chaotic, and I have a better appreciation and understanding for how it informs my work. And that's really what attracts us to art. We see the visual and conceptual connections which are forged from disparate, unrelated elements. And it brings to us the realization that art is an act of creation, something which brings order into the chaos of our lives. El arte es un acto de creación que puedes introducir algo de orden en el caos de la vida. When I am creating, it feels like the chaos is spontaneously giving way to something of a higher order. And in that act, I realize I have the same power in my life, the power to organize, to create life in a more conscious way, to bring together the raw elements of my own experience into something amazing and beautiful. All right, I'm going to take a break this afternoon and head down to El Centro. Come on, go with me. Let's see what's up.
Uh, that was a nice ride into El Centro. So I'm heading to the cultural center, Ricardo Flores Magón. My friend Isabel is selling her works here today. We're gonna see if we can find her. Hola, Isabel, ¿qué tal? Hola, Randall, muy bien, ¿qué tal? I'm really interested in the work you have for sale today, and I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your project. Well, of course, uh, this is a project called the Greta Goto. The idea is to play with colors, play with how they interact with light, and also to promote the idea to stop using plastic so that you can keep them and you can have something nice to drink, to see. Um, well, this is like part of the work. Esta semana estamos investigando como el caos es parte del proceso creativo. Uh, is there some way in which chaos is a part of your own creative process? Of course. This is a technique that we started. It's kind of also uh, giving life back to some objects. Like this, was, this used to be a bottle, so we cut it with fire and this is the result. And I thought for like, maybe we should throw it away because it's like irregular. But then I thought like, I mean like that irregularity in the sides just makes it like really cool and makes me like, gives me the possibility to change, to, to play with the design. If we play with this glass, the shadow looks really different if it's cut. And I think that chaos gives a lot of life to the design and you can find like new ways to express that kind of chaos and embrace that chaos in, in our daily art. Well, that's really nice. Thanks for sharing with us about your work and I really enjoyed hearing about how chaos is a part of your process as well. Thank you, you Randall, for listening to this chaotic person. My friend Huerta is a poet and he has a poem minimum, so something like Paso a Pasito or Pasa Papacito. It was great to visit with Isabel about art and chaos. And it gave me something to think about as I rode back to my studio on the outskirts of Oaxaca City. This week, I want to give a shout out to my friend Bill. He lost his pal, the amazing Skeeter the Love Dog. Much love to you, bro.